One thing that hit my radar this week, ignorant tattoos. Which I had actually heard of just a little bit before you mentioned them to me. Okay. And I think the reason for that is because I love tattoos. Like, kind of, I'm secretly a little obsessed. But you don't have any. I don't. And neither do I. Yeah. But I like to watch, like, tattoo videos and stuff on YouTube. I like to watch lots of, like, tattoo artist reviews and stuff. All That's right. sort of my big thing. Um, I never remember any of their names, but I like kind of, you know, learning about the styles and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I think as a medium... They're fascinating. Well, sure. I mean, it's on your skin and it's permanent. I mean, except for, you Mm -hmm. know, the whole concept of tattoo removal these days. Mm -hmm. But we were just at our most recent dinner and a friend asked, how come you don't have any tattoos, Mike? And I said, because I just can't imagine something that I'm going to really agree with adamantly enough to put on my body that I'm also going to adamantly agree with 10 years from now. Right. I'm sort of a conclusion is where you got tired of thinking kind of person. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, maybe, okay, I had, I had one idea and this might be a perfect ignorant tattoo. Yeah. An hourglass. That'd be cool. I like that. Yeah. Cause time is. Uh, Time keeps on tripping. Into the future, Steve Miller. Thank you. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, it's, it's a constant it's never changing and unless we find a way, you know, um, I heard a comedian talk about how uh, he knows time travel doesn't exist because mm-hmm. he says, have you ever seen anybody from the future? Right. <laughs> I mean, right. That's, that's a pretty good, and we're, and we're messing things up pretty good right now. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Between Ukraine <laughs> and Gaza, you know, I mean, we've already messed it up pretty good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what would I get on my yeah, body? I don't what know. if we're just in the really crappy time continuum where time travel doesn't exist? Right. Maybe, and then there is another timeline out there where it does. And that would be so much better. Grandpa Rick to come and save us. Maybe that'll be <laughs> yeah. the plot of season seven anyway. Yeah, right. Um, so I guess ignorant tattoos are, think of, <clears throat> it'd be like if your friend from high school gave you a tattoo while listening to Blink-182 um, and copying off his high school notebook. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, it'd be like, the, they look like, it's line art, pop art. Mm-hmm. Would you get one of those? Or would you want a photorealistic tattoo? So, first off, I don't know if I could ever commit to a tattoo. I'm going to, though, actually. Really? My mom and I are going to get tattoos together. When and what are you going to get? We haven't decided when yet, and I haven't quite decided what yet, but we're both going to get a Practical Magic-themed tattoo. So a lime and a coconut. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like Um, that. I think that's fun. But I just think it's so funny that we've come full cycle now, Mm -hmm. because we've been tattooing ourselves for... Thousands of years, Mm -hmm. but now we're at the point where things, tattoos can be so photorealistic. You've all seen the one with the guy turning his arm Uh and it looks like you're looking into a 3D, you know, painting. Right. That now we've started going back to the basics. I think Mm -hmm. that's hilarious. My ex-husband actually does have a few tattoos and I... I feel like I helped out quite a bit when he was conceptualizing them. Um, And (laughs) he also has one ignorant tattoo that sucks so bad. Oh, yeah? It's the worst. Yeah. And it's kind of funny. These are tattoos that, you know, would ordinarily be covered up. Mm Mm-hmm. But, yeah. I'm just saying that uh, all the ones I helped out with turned out great. I'm surprised they don't call them, like, jail tattoos. You know, I could see that. (laughs) Yeah. I mean... I think what the name is meant to refer to is it's um it's the tattoo you get when you're ignorant about the process of getting a tattoo. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Or you're ignorant about what it takes to get a good tattoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I know that my mom had at least one of those. Um, <laughs> it was a stick and poke that said poison. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Poison. Yeah, which is now covered up by a Mickey Mouse. Which is pretty cool. Oh, Brett Michael's heart would be broken. I know, I know. That's oh, too bad. <laughs> well, it was really bad. So <laughs> I think if anything, he'd probably be like, Yeah, that's good. Don't don't represent us like that. <laughs> but but yeah, it'll it'll be interesting to see how many kids these days get mm-hmm. these and I mean post Malone's face already kinda looks like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, right? Know? Yeah. Yeah, I think if I did get a tattoo though, it'd probably be very minimalist. Um, especially because one thing I don't love about tattoos is that it sort of cements your aesthetic. 
Right. You know? Exactly. Well, it's like if you had photorealistic tattoos of the Backstreet Boys, <laughs> you know, on the small of your back or something. And maybe, who, who knows, maybe mm-hmm. Backstreet's back. Yeah. <laughs> Fashion and music are both on a 25-year cycle, so maybe they're relevant again, but uh, come on. Did they not just release a new song? I don't know. Oh, no, that I, was in sync. But I do that know. That was in sync. I know that uh, Blink-182 is back on the radio. Crazy. With a song called One More Time, and the uh-huh. Foo Fighters are back on the radio. I called my buddy Brad and said, what year is it? Well, and Y2K Fashion is all the rage right now. Right. Like, at least every <laughs> third, fourth teenager that walks in is Y2K. It makes sense. But what about 20 years from now when you're trying to get a job mm-hmm. and the Backstreet Boys are up your neck? You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's fair. That's it's fair. rough. When I get a tattoo, it'll probably be very minimalistic and somewhere really easy to hide, especially because um, back when I used to model a little, a little bit, I remember the uh, photographers or whoever was dressing us or whatever, always complaining about having to cover up tattoos. Okay. You know, and so I guess something just stuck in my head where I'm like, okay, whatever I get, it's got to be like tiny and easy to hide. You know? I, I was thinking other than an hourglass, I might get one bold dot, just to stick the needle in. Twist it around a little bit, mm-hmm. take it out, we're done. Yeah. Somewhere the somewhere where the sun don't shine. Funny, I like that. And you know I have a tattoo machine at home. Do you really? I do. You are the most interesting <laughs> woman in the world. Well, I haven't had a chance to really get used to it and use it, but you know what? I would love to have a little free time one day and just uh, give it, a, you know. Just start scratching? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you an ignorant tattoo. <laughs> just kidding. I don't recommend t- tattooing at home. I think that's a good way to get an infection, okay? We stand good, qualified tattoo artists here. That being said, sometimes... <laughs> You need to do as we say and not as we do. You got you to gotta start somewhere. <laughs> I mean, that's true. That's I, true. Is it true they practice on an orange? Is that yeah. how they get good? Yeah. Uh, banana peels are also good. You can also buy fake skin. Oh. You know? Okay. And uh, pig skin is really good to practice on too. All right. Because pig skin actually has almost the exact same texture as human skin. Before or after the pig gets turned into... Uh... After. I mean, I guess, That yeah. would be animal abuse. The SPCA would be up your butt if you, right. if you did it. You <laughs> Can you imagine having a pig walking around the farm? Well, either way, they're the brutal. Tattoos? <laughs> right. Actually, that kind of would be funny. Oh, that's Biker Brutus. mom. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Popeye. <laughs> yeah. Just a scorpion on its haunches. Right. When you do butcher him, you cut away that first bit of skin and it's still there. Yosemite Sam <laughs> saying back off. You know, yeah, something like that. <laughs>